and welcome back to Live with the Tribe on ESPN 95.1 The Fan. Also, this uh, replay on YouTube as well. We want to thank you for joining us as uh, we're going to step inside the ICC spotlight being presented by the Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi and talk with ICC head football coach Sean Cannon about the upcoming National Signing Day here next week in Fulton. The newly formed Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi wants to make sure you are receiving the best orthopedic care possible. Our staff of seven experienced board certified surgeons specialize in a specific area of the body and can treat you with the newest and latest technology available to fast track your road to recovery. Call us for same day appointments at 662-377-BONE and come see us at Gloucester Creek Village in Tupelo at the Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi. Our specialty is you. And welcome back as we step inside the ICC Spotlight presented by the Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi and talk with Coach Sean Cannon. And uh, Coach, first off, a, a very rare treat to have you guys on campus this time of year. Uh, National Signing Day around the corner. You guys are you guys are burning up the streets. Yep, yep. Long, long days. They they, they run themselves together a lot, but uh, but you know, trying to trying to get everything wrapped up here and and uh, and looking forward to you know um, seeing seeing those. Uh, Facts has come across the fax machine. All right, Coach. Well, let's just start uh, from the beginning. You know, everybody says, you know, football season's your first season, recruiting's your second season. It's a big season for you as well. Uh, just talk about the process uh, once you evaluate your needs and uh, how do you move forward from there? Well, you kind of wait and see how your team progresses through the year. Uh, you know, what you know you're going to lose coming up from sophomores and, and uh, you know, then you kind of go out and identify the, you know, your your, your local pool town as much as you can and, and be able to watch them on Friday nights and watch them play and all those things. And then you kind of move over once the uh, state opens up, you kind of hit your main recruiting areas that you're going to focus on. And then you kind of compile names, so who's interested, uh, try to get them on visits. You know, that's what we've been doing the last few weeks is campus visits and showing them our place. And, you know, so you're able to, uh, get them here, show them about our place, and then then you just kind of you know let them be able to make a good decision, and hopefully uh, you know we we've uh, you know identified some really good players, so hopefully that'll that, that'll be able to come with us uh, you know here here next week. Well, uh, coach, uh, you, you talked about the state being open. Uh, it's been open that way for a few years now. That presents a lot of unique challenges for you and uh, your fellow coaches as well and staff. Uh, just talk about those uh, challenges that it presents. Yeah, you know, it, it's a you know it's a different dynamic when I first got here. You know, with the protected list, and now you've got a you know different different landscape now going out and uh, you know being able to go across the state. And uh, so you you, you kind of look at distance. You know that that does affect a lot of your recruiting decisions of how far do you really go. You don't really know. Uh, you know, uh, three hours, four hours. You know, really, what's the magic magic distance? Uh, then you got areas where maybe you've got a coaching friend that maybe wants to that's got a kid that wants to you know maybe get away from where he is a little bit further and so you might delve into you know a couple areas like that but you know it just depends on where you feel like that you can get players and where players want to come to you and then you kind of go after them and and uh you know some kids come with you some don't but that's the decision they make and you know but all we can do is put our best foot forward you know, and, and show them everything about us and, you know, and hopefully they'll make a good decision about, you know, uh, everything we have to offer. Yeah, and that's one thing that I've noticed, not just football, whether it be basketball, baseball, softball alike. Uh, the open state, a lot of kids now, they do want to get away from home. They want to become their own individuals. So that also presents a unique challenge for you as well. Yeah, when you're able to hold on to your local players, <clears throat> then uh, it's it's really a, almost a recruiting battle in itself, you yeah. know, because if, if, if they're good, uh, which most of them that you recruit should be, uh, they're probably going to be hit up by other schools. And so when they decide to stay with you and stay local, uh, it's always a, a win, you know. Yeah. And, and, and that's the thing that I try to – we try to identify kids that want to be at our place from our local region, and, and, and some do, and then some want to explore their other options. And, and I get it, you know, And uh, but we get we kind of get the same uh, feel from other schools and kids when we go to other, other places. You know, they don't want to, they don't, they want to do something different. Maybe it's all they've ever known, whatever. So you, you know, kind of, kind of pick and choose and, and uh, you, you go, you go about how you think is the right way to do things. And, you know, and uh, so it is, I mean, you look at all the rosters from top to bottom and they, they you know, it's, you got some kids from the bottom of the state that play up this way, and you got some from up our way that play all the way down there. So, uh, but you know, it comes down to kids want to be at your place and want to be successful, and, and uh, you know, and, and I think that's that's the decision most of them make, knowing that that's what they're coming into. 
Now, uh, talk about how you kind of break down your recruiting process when you guys hit the road. You can only have X amount of people out at yep. a certain time. Uh, do you assign certain regions for certain coaches, or how does that work? Yep, only send four out at a time. And, uh, you know, basically, if you go to a school, uh, you see everybody at that school, even if that player that you're there to see is not there that day. <laughs> yeah, that's it. You know, so you got to make sure you really plan your weeks out. We probably meet more on recruiting than we do even, you know, football wise, you know, and so you kind of got to make sure that, you know, when you when you get there, that you're uh, managing your time, that you're in a local area. So we, we try to split up our coaches as in about six regions, you know, that you break down and, you know, you kind of uh, and then you kind of attack it from there. And then usually uh, once they, we identify players that we want to be able to recruit, then uh, we kind of split it off to the position coach a little bit more than the recruiting coach, you know. And so because those are kids or, you know, for instance, if it's a receiver that maybe that I won't coach, but I think he's good, then I want to turn him over to the coach that's going to coach him, you know. And then so they can start building a relationship. And I think that's kind of how, uh, you know, we've always done it, you know, because I think the kid needs to feel comfortable with who's going to be coaching him, you know. And, uh, but I try to get around as – many places I can, many homes as I can, and, you know, and I can't be in, you know, eight different places at one time, but it's, yeah. but, but it's always, a, you know, always a, 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 you know, very important to me to get there, you know, so, so we can meet mom and dad and, you know, because uh, their parents are going to ask more questions than the kids, you yeah. know, and I get that, so that's kind of my job to do that and kind of, you know, go through all those things, so, you know, that's kind of our, the way we do things and you know each coach has their own region that they that they go through and so when you see kids from different areas on our team uh, you know then that's what that coach's work through recruiting got them you know yeah. well coach uh, we're up against a break you got a little bit more time to stick around talk a little bit more about national signing day next week sure all right well we're going to come back with more of live with the tribe here on espn 95 one the fan and as we said uh once this is final Right around 3 o'clock on YouTube. If you missed it, you can watch an abbrevi abbreviated version of that as well. We're going to take a break and be back with more right after this on ESPN 95.1 The Fan. So my name's Lycan Jones. I went here in August of 2015. I just recently graduated in May of 2017. Um, while I was here, I was studying preoccupational therapy, but I eventually changed to communication. The application process to Itawamba was great. I mean, they told me everything I needed and what I needed to do. And if I was ever confused, I knew the admissions office or student affairs was just one call away. So coming to ICC, just transferring to where I am now, which is Mississippi State, I was able to apply for so many more scholarships and a university became affordable, which as before, it would have never been something that I, that I could have done. Being a transfer student and if you are in Phi Theta Kappa, which is our honor society, you are guaranteed for several thousand more dollars of scholarships um, than if you just went straight to university. But through building my resume and making connections and really falling in love with MSU and committing to going there, they actually offered me a full tuition scholarship. Hardly anyone knows who they are or what they want to do with their life at 18, 19, or even 20 years old. And so when I went to ICC, I had a little bit more attention and a little bit more time to find myself and to learn what I liked and what I don't like and what I'm good at and what I'm not really good at. So with that, I really learned who I was in my dreams. This broadcast of ICC Athletics is being brought to you by Renaissance Bank, Little Caesars, Davis Ford, The Sonic of Fulton, Tupelo Coca-Cola Bottling Works, The Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi, First American National Bank, The ICC BSU, Your Itawama County Farm Bureau Agent, Joey Cox, Cagle Eye Center, The ICC Foundation, The Bank of Oklahoma, and The ICC Alumni Association. And welcome back to Live with the Tribe here on ESPN 95.1 The Fan. We're talking with ICC head football coach Sean Kennan. National Signing Day coming up next Wednesday. It's a big day across the nation, a big day here at ICC as well as we welcome the newest members of the ICC family. Uh, we were talking about just the regions in the area, how uh, you attack the, um, I hate to use the word attack, but it's almost that mode this time yeah. of year, but how, how you go about recruiting on that. Coaches, just talk about the roles of your assistant coaches. Uh, you know, what's your philosophy? What's their philosophy? And 
how do you make those uh how do you how do you combine all that well you know and i guess when you, you're talking about recruiting right yes yeah, they're yeah. recruiting you know and uh, i've always kind of looked at recruiting as you know and, and everybody goes through it even from you know notre dame to you know wabash college wherever you are i mean everybody has kids they hit on become really good you know you got some that you know maybe are not as ready as you thought they would be at the time but but basically you know we talk about identifying who fits what we do who fits us uh because every kid don't fit what we do just like every kid don't fit what another school does right, you know right. and so you you try to go out and identify those those kids that are going to be there for the right reasons they're going to want to work hard they're going to want to go to class and, and 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 make some of themselves and um so so you, you really have to talk to coaches about kids and because when you you know i always tell them this high school is kind of what you do and uh you get to college it becomes who you are and uh so you bought into everything that that goes into class going to class study hall you know uh everything that's involved and 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 some kids can do that. Some kids struggle with that, you know. Right. So you got to make sure you, you you're getting the right type of guy first before you even, you know, uh, go back and 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 you know hit the recruiting really hard on them and everything. So you do a lot of value. No no different in coaches coming to my place, right? And asking about our kids, you know. And uh, so you always want honesty and you want to be upfront with them because I think that you know you want to be a uh, you definitely want to have a good relationship with kids to know that you know uh, this is how we're going to do things and. So when I go through the coaching part of it, I just said, you know, make sure there's a guy that, you know, that, that can be coached hard because we, we're going to coach them hard, but but also understand that they're here for, you know, that uh, that they're here for the right reasons. And, you know, it's always a crapshoot, but you try to at least do your homework enough to do that. So that's really the, you know, to make sure of, of the kids and, you know, things like that. Um, now, one thing we're starting to see a lot, and you hear this word used a lot, flipped, you know, and – you and I, we're a little old school, uh, a couple of Calhoun County guys. When right. you commit to something, you're committed to do it. Yeah. Uh, as a coach, you don't see it a lot on this level as you do the national level, but it just seems like the word committed has kind of lost some value uh, a little bit. I hate to say that in no, a no. sense, not being negative, but how do you address, you know, I, I know you have a kid say, Coach, I'm coming to you, and then all of a sudden they go on a visit somewhere else. You know, how do you, how do you, how do you guys move forward on saying, okay, he's committed to us, but he's taking visits, so he's obviously not 100%. <laughs> Well, sometimes committed means um, save me a spot just in case, yeah. you know, type deal. And, you know, you got to be up front with them. And I, and, I, and I think that's the only thing you can be. You can tell them, it's, you know, hey, you're, you're number one of number four of what we're bringing in and uh, or that we're recruiting for a certain position. If you want the if you want the offer, then the offer is yours. But understand that, you know, we've got to we got to take care of ourselves as well. And, uh, and and I think if you're honest with kids enough and you tell them, tell them, yeah how you see them, how they're going, you're going to use them. And then, uh, they do choose to go other places. And at least, you know, you're given that opportunity, right. but you, you know, you go back and think about, you know, that, that when, when I talk to kids, coach, I'm, I'm coming, I said, understand now this decision that you're making is going to affect a lot of other people because yeah. I've got to tell X, Y, and Z that, you know, we've got our guy that they've got to go somewhere else or, you know, the, the, and, and, you know, maybe some of them wait around too long, and you, and you, you, you know, yeah. it, it's, it's kind of like, I guess I look at dating, you know, if, if, if you really want to date that, that redhead, and, you know, you, you call her up, and you, you know, uh, try to court her and everything, and she has no interest in you, then you need to go find you a blonde, you know, and that's yeah. kind of our philosophy. If, if we feel like there's mutual uh, interest in us, we're going to be interested in them, but if we don't feel like that, you know, and I always ask them, hey, man, are you interested in us? If not, I understand. You're not hurting my feelings, right. but... You know, so you got to be honest with them, and I think honesty. If if you're honest with them, they're going to be honest back with you. You know, and uh, but but I'd much rather have a have a kid go in somewhere else, and and you know, and and at least be honest with you and say, coach, this is where I'm going. But and, and, but a lot of what you find out on social media. You know, yeah. you do a lot of work with them, and you talk to them, and go see them, and then you find out their decision on social media. And I get it. I mean, that's the way we're. You know, that's the way things are now. But. You know, being honest, I think, still goes a long way. And when I always tell them, hey, I, you know, you commit to me, I'm committing to you. You know, yeah. they're, 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 this, this is what we want. You know, so we want you here and want you to be here. And, and But I want this decision to be known and this is final. You know, this is, this is what we're going to do. So uh, <clears throat> so it's tough. You know, it's tough. Well, as coaches, you know, obviously you, there's that disappointment factor when you don't get the kids you go for. You know, um, how – 
this may sound like a dumb question, but you know, it's one of those that people may not think about. How do you guys, you know, move on from that, or how do you deal with that? Is it just like, okay, he don't want to be here, let's go here, or I mean, there's frustration, obviously, and well, disappointment. I think you always look at the old, the old saying of glass half full, glass half empty. You know, I've always kind of looked at the ones you do get versus the ones you don't get. You know, and and we all we all lose them. Every school loses recruiting battles. I mean, you you look at these top schools now. I mean, they're out looking for the you know, the top rated five star or whatever position and he goes to another school, well, sure you're going to be because you want them there. You know, you want the best. We all want the best players. But, you know, I've always had the mentality of, man, you celebrate the ones that you get because those are ones that, that, that really want to be with you, you right. know. And, uh, and you know, there's never any hard feelings. But, you know, I always tell them, say, look, you know, I wish you good luck in every game but one, man. Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah, and yeah, uh, yeah. when we play y'all, you know. But, uh but I, th I think it goes back to just getting to know the kids and the parents and, you know, and, and, and I think the coaches as well, they have a little influence on the kids as far as, you know, who, uh, you know, that I wouldn't say they, they, they steer them left or right, but they, but they're, I think they're at least honest with them when the kids come and ask. It's kind of what with our coach. I tell them, look, don't ever steer a kid from our program to a school. Right. Now, if they want your opinion, give it to them. Yeah. You know, if, if you compare this one to that one or whatever, but if, if, uh, you know, they, they're asking your opinion, give it, but don't ever, because that's the decision they have to make. They got to live with that, you know. And uh, But nine times out of ten, the ones that, you know, uh, that, that do come and play and, and they have better careers, and I've, I've seen it happen, you know, that want to be with you and all that. So, you know, but you do. I mean, you, you, want, you want ones that you target as your top guy, but sometimes that, that number two guy right behind him turns out to be a better player than what one ended up being. So, you know, but that's, that's always the, the unknown of recruiting. Coach, we're about two minutes away for a break, but uh, real quick, touch on how you recruit parents. I know, uh, you know, it sounds crazy, but a lot of times, as you said, the kids are going to make the decision, but they lean on their mom and daddy uh, to figure out, hey, what's going to be best for me? Some of them do. You know, we have some that, you know, Coach, I'm making my own decision and don't really need any help, but, you know, some you, you, you want to make sure that, you know, you at least get into them to know kind of who you are and what you're about, and I think you got to be honest with parents, you know, because I always look at, you know, I got three and you know, hopefully they're going to go off to, to college and I want somebody to watch after them, you know, kind of the same thing. That's, and that's what we become, you know, post high school, you know, we're, 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 we're mamas and daddies and yeah. coaches and, you know, all rolled into one, you know, and, and, I, and I think the comfort level, they got to know that their, their son is going to be taken care of and he's going to have what he needs. And, you know, and that's what you got to be honest with them, you know, and, and, and I tell them, look, I'm going to take, I'm going to do them just like I do my own. If they mess up, I'm going to get on them. If, if they do good and we're going to praise them, you know, and, and uh, and I think parents, if they see that part of it and know you're, you know, that you're, that you're honest with them and genuine, I think that that always wins in the end. Well, coach, we're going to take one more time out, come back and talk about National Signing Day itself. Uh, you're listening to Live with the Tribes. We're talking with Coach Sean Cannon about next week's National Signing Day here on ESPN 95.1 The Fan. Ever since you got that license, you've been on the move. We get it. With student checking, we have the tools to keep you going. Take care of that check from grandma without stopping at the bank. Pay with your phone when you're out with friends. And we'll even pay you back for ATM fees. So keep on going, and we'll stick with you, wherever you go. Renaissance Bank, understanding you. Member FDIC. When I was looking for a college back in the day, you know, I'm from Amory, Mississippi, just 30 minutes down the road, and I'm a homebody, and, and I had to commute, and I said, I need to go to a college that's not too far from home. And I heard of ICC. And once I stepped on campus, I knew this is the junior college I need to be at. I didn't think of another college. I said, this is it. When I stepped on campus, the atmosphere, it just was drawn to me, and I felt like this is where I belong. I belong here at Itawamba Community College because at that moment, I knew this is the best junior college on the planet. This is where I need to be. This is where I was planted. And that's why I am what I am today because of Itawamba Community College. And welcome back one final time here on Live with the Tribe as we're talking with ICC head football coach Sean Cannon about uh, next week's National Signing Day. Uh, this is the ICC Spotlight presented by the Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi. Um, coach, National Signing Day, that is a long day. Uh, for a lot of people, it's almost uh, it's almost as big as the Super Bowl now uh, whenever they look at uh, players coming in. Take us through 
your national signing day. We 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 have followed you before from uh, <coughs> when the doors unlocked to when the doors closed. But right. for fans that don't uh, necessarily been there, just take you through how the day goes. Well, you know, you, you you anticipate how it's supposed to go, and most of the time it does. You know, it does go the way you want to, and then you do have you know uh, a few surprises here and there, but. For the most part, you just, you know, I guess that's really on time I use fax machine anymore <laughs> yeah. is, uh, is signing date, you know, and so you, you, you kind of get that excitement when, you know, you hear the hear the little phone ring there and here comes a piece of paper coming through or your coach will text, say, look, we're, you know, we're about to fax the paperwork and those type things. So it, it's always a good, good day and, you know, and it seems like it's, you know, really been, it's been a long time. You know, you go back through the spring and you start evaluating. Yeah kids for this cup coming year and then you go by the schools and you know watch them play and all those things so it, it, it always is a you know and, and, it, and it's always the longest days and then you look up when signing date is over boom it looks like it's you know it's getting time to report for for fall camp yeah. you know so it's a very very short time but it's a long a long long period of time before those uh you know the, you know a lot of restless nights been you know but you you get up and excited every day because you know you get a chance to add some good players to you know to your roster well one thing a lot of people tend to forget is yes it's national signing day but that's not it for you guys uh when you see who you got what spots you have left to fill, and that's when more for you guys i guess you go out and look for your outer staters uh and then maybe some of the guys that uh was undecided on that day yeah you know you you, you like to sign everything that you need on signing day but that's in reality of junior college you're not and uh so you got to look and see our philosophy is we get a really good player from Mississippi, then let's let's see where our deficiencies are and uh, and, and be able to put an out of state in that spot. You know, just to say we're gonna be locked down and this is what we're gonna take every year positional wise has never been my philosophy. Let's let's figure out especially with the state being open, right. you know. So you really don't know kind of what you're gonna get till signing day gets here and so then you kind of go out and start hunting out of staters to, to fill in needs that you're going to have on your team. And then you're right, you might have one or two open spots left. And then and then you get kids on campus that, that uh, like you said, maybe didn't sign somewhere. And you, you, you know, so you, you always, you're always constantly doing it. It's not, never just over, over. Now it is over after that Wednesday. You yeah. kind of get a little afternoon yeah. break, but yeah. then you start back at it again, you know, here over the next two days or so. Well, you're talking about getting that break. Uh... You guys hadn't got one, and you're not. You're more than just coaches. You know, you've got your student athletes that you're involved in. Yep. But you got that family life as well, yep. uh, where you've got three kids and uh, a Julia, <laughs> which uh, she she's on the road a good bit as well. Yeah. Just talk about that balance. How how do you guys find that balance? Hard, hardest thing is is not being around our players for this really this month. You know, we're you know one coach is working them out. We're just kind of in and out, and that, and that really. You really forget about them a lot. You know, I sent them a text last night, you know, talking about I'm ready to get back with y'all and, and get back in a routine. Re really more it's routine than anything. Yeah. Uh, get back working with them every day and, and, and um, you know, getting them in the groove of, you know, getting back in the study hall and stuff. And then, you know, and there's there's long nights. You, you're picking up early in the morning, you're driving home or you're out and, and you know, and you don't get home until 10 when everybody's in bed. And so you try to get them up early and, you know, see them for the day and everything like that. So it's tough, you know, but I think once uh, Julie always says, well, you know, after signing date's over, you know, we're back to normal a yeah. little bit. So, yeah. um, and then, then the honey-do list pop out and here we go, you know, so, uh, but it, it's tough, you know, it is, but that, but they understand that's the, that's what you got to do as a college coach. You got you got to recruit and you got to be out. And, and uh, so it's been accepted. I've been doing it for, I guess, be 20, year 23 coming on now. So it's kind of not been a anything different to the last 22 years. Yes. Yeah. And coach, that's one thing uh, a lot of people just don't think about and give, give credit where credit's due is the coach's wives. They're in it just as much as you're in yeah. it because they're that mama. They're, they're sacrificing a lot of their time and a lot of family time as well. So uh, before we go into the overall thank yous, I know uh, Julia, she, she plays a big role in your success. So kind of just to address that. Yeah, you know, I'm always, you know, getting a text or getting a call and who is that? You know, she always wants to know and I got to fill her in on how the day went and who we got committed, who we're still going after. And, you know, so she's, she's invested just like everybody else is, you know, and, uh, and, you know, coach Cook's wife is, <clears throat> you know, she's getting her a, a taste of this for the last couple of years. Yeah. And, you know, and, and so when you, you know, when I think you feel like you can involve those people that really maybe don't have much of a clue about how it really works. And you feel like that, you know, and she'll say, well, let me look them up on social media. Let me, yeah. let me look at their profile and, you know, but, but she probably gets more followers than I do, you know? <laughs> and she's like, who is this kid? And I'm like, yeah. who? She said, well, this is a 
four star defensive end just follow me and i'm like yeah. well you know that's well he didn't follow me so yeah. maybe, maybe she's but she's always trying to scout out talent and you know all that thing so it's always been a we had a kid one year we'd already signed chris long from nettleton and she was out working one day sent me a picture she said boy we need to get this kid and i said well, <laughs> we just we've already signed him you know yeah. she's like oh i didn't even know you know yeah. so she so got pretty good eye she's got that eye for talent for sure well coach uh as we wrap up i know there's a lot of people that go that that go into doing this uh it's not just you and your coaches uh and i know you don't want to pit name people one by one because you're like me you'll, you'll end up forgetting somebody forget somebody but I, I do want to open the mic for you to maybe just give a few shout outs uh you know somebody out there that's looking to support the team how they can support you guys just kind of give you an open mic uh for, for for the next two or three minutes yeah you know you come on campus you gotta you know there's a lot of working parts that a lot of people take out of their day to, to host our kids and you know and, and talk about our place and you know going through the you know, success center and talking about academics and dorms and you go to the cafeteria, you know, so, you, you know, there's a lot of people that, that they get to meet on their trip and, and uh, you know, that they don't have to talk to them, but they do, you know, they take time out of their day to do that. And then, you know, Coach Ball and, you know, extremely busy with all the other things she's got going on, but she's always had the time to, you know, talk to our kids. And those, those are huge things for us, you know, just to, for those kids to be able to meet, you know, meet Dr. Allen, you know, and, yeah. and, uh, and things like that, because, you know, uh, don't know how many of them get to meet a college president, you right. know, and, and, you know, the head honcho, as you say. So uh, then you go back and think about you know, all the coaches and, you know, the time they spend and you don't really tell them enough, but it's just, you, you just, it's what you got to do, you know. And, and so you always kind of feel like after it kind of gets wrapped up, then you can kind of take a little bit of uh, time and start doing a little self-evaluation of football and you kind of get into that mode of it a little bit. and. You start growing a little bit and learning more and, you know, things like that. But, you know, you, you go back and think about all the uh, parents that do let their kids come, that they're out of school and, you know, and, and we bring them back at home and, you know, they get to come up here. So, you, you know, you, you can't really, you know, if we sit there and, and started thinking all the thank yous, we'd yeah. be here for another 30 minutes, you know. Yeah. So a lot of it goes into it, you know, and, and, and you want that part of it. I want everybody to be involved and feel like they've got a part in it that, you know, a little small part, but yeah. I, I had I had a I had a um, a part of getting that player here too. You yeah. know, because once they're here, they're all of us. You know, we, we we're all red and blue, and regardless of where they come from, high school wise or out of state, in state, don't matter. We're all the same. You know, and, and I think that's the thing that that buys them in and, and brings them brings them in once they know they're here. Well, coach, I appreciate you taking time out of your day. I know. Uh... This time of year is crazy for you, and I really appreciate you uh, coming in to talk to us. Hopefully, we'll be able to talk a few more times. Of course, we'll talk next Wednesday uh, about the uh, National Signing Day itself, kind of recap it as well. So, uh, Sean Cannon taking time to talk to us here on Live with the Tribe. That's going to do it for this week's edition of Live with the Tribe on ESPN 95.1 The Fan. We'll be back tomorrow with more right here at noon. Uh, remember, you can watch this uh, recap of the show coming your way about 3 o'clock on our YouTube channel as well as on Let's Go ICCTV.com, our archives under special events. We'll see you tomorrow, folks, here on Live with the Tribe.